Hey guys, welcome into today's video. Today we're gonna to be testing out the new Laura Mercier foundation. This just arrived to me, I think yesterday. So I am pretty excited to try this. I really love testing new foundations. I'm kind of a foundation junkie. It's a little bit of a problem, I know. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I have mine in the shade 2N1 Cashew. In Laura Mercier's range line, I've always done a really poor job at shade matching myself. So I'm hoping I did a better job this time. It does look like a better shade for me. The last foundation that I had from Laura Mercier, which I can't remember what it was, but this actually looks really, really pretty. The box is a soft matte black, and this is like a frosted glass bottle, and it does come with a pump. And I just like the way that this frosted glass looks. Let's read a little bit about this, and then we'll go into the application of it. And we are gonna do a wear test today. It's it says it's a long wearing foundation that blurs the line between makeup and skin to reveal a healthier looking complexion. The skin loving formula provides perfecting medium buildable coverage. So weightless, you'll forget you're wearing it at all. So medium coverage, very lightweight, weightless, all of that good jazz. This is made in Italy and does have a 12 month shelf life. We're gonna do a swatch test on this. We're gonna prime the pump and then do a swatch test on this and then blend it into the back of my hand. Let's give it a second to run down my hand. It's not a fully watery formula, but it's pretty lightweight. This is an interesting consistency. I'm struggling to find the words to describe the consistency. It's super duper lightweight, but it's, what is that? It is so smooth, it feels like it just has maybe like a lot of oils in it, I guess is kind of what I'm thinking. Is there oils in this? I don't know if there is, but it says, caution, flammable until dry. Do not use near fire, flame, or heat. I don't know if that's on every foundation. That's the first time I've noticed that. Okay, interesting. It does have some oils in it. Oliveira seed oil. I feel like this is gonna be more of a hydrating formula and more geared for someone with dry skin. I do happen to have dry skin and I've been doing pretty good lately. My skin has not been overly dry. I've been moisturizing with a Kate Somerville moisturizer. I feel like a lot of my dryness that I've had is kind of gone away. I definitely still feel like I'm a more dry skin person, but I think I'm more normal skin at this point. I have nothing on my face other than the moisturizer that I put on hours ago. I did do my eyebrows, so we're gonna apply this foundation. I will go and finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'm gonna do the wear test. I'm gonna come back in, you know, I don't know, five or six hours, and I'll check in with you guys to see how this wears. So I'm gonna first apply it with a brush. I did do about a pump, but I don't think I'm gonna take the whole thing. I'm just gonna go straight into the foundation with the brush and apply it to the right side. It is so soft, but it smells like it has oils in it. You guys, I definitely think this is like an oil-based foundation because it feels so creamy and lightweight and oily, like so many hydrating properties. There is no other way to really explain this. And everything that was on the back of my hand totally gone. I totally used all of that for what I applied. I don't think it got the whole way. I definitely want to apply a little bit more on my forehead here. I do think it's a pretty good shade match for what I prefer. I like about a shade darker than my neck and I think <laughs> the cat just sneezed <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I do like a shade that's about a one shade darker than my neck because I think that I'm really pale and I just think that foundations that actually match my neck are just too light for me. I just don't like the way that they look. I feel like I look really ghostly. And I think that this is a good shade. But like I said, it definitely has a scent to it and it's not super pleasant. It's not gross or anything. It just, I don't know, smells like oils. There is it applied to the right side. It did a good job. I think it's medium coverage, but I used a lot of foundation. I didn't go in with a super light layer. I used probably a full pump. The more you build it up, obviously the heavier it feels on your face. I would say that it was really super lightweight when I just went in kind of went with that one pump. But as I continued to build it up, I can see it on my nose. I can see it laying across my pores. Now I could have used like a pore diffusing primer or a pore filling primer, but I didn't. I just kind of wanted to see how this laid on top of bare skin without anything underneath it. I think it's pretty everywhere about my nose. I have to say here, it looks heavy and it almost looks dry. As many comments as I made about how oily it was and how initially lightweight it felt, it looks dry right here. 
So let's go into the other side with a sponge. I'm using that much and I'm just gonna start off with a little bit applied. It's so lightweight. I get where the weightless comes from. Putting it on your face doesn't even feel like there's anything on your finger. It's definitely a different consistency in a foundation that I've tried before. I cannot get over this smell. It stinks. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it stinks. But I love the shade. I feel like that that I picked up and I didn't take the whole thing went a lot farther with the sponge than it did with the brush. So I like the application with a sponge a lot better than I did with the brush side. So now I'm just gonna go back in and pat down this side, especially on the nose and see if I can't like let it kind of sink into my nose a little bit more and take away some of that cakey dryness that I feel like I was starting to see. I, I like this side better. I wouldn't say that it has too much of a radiance. I think it's kind of natural, but that lightweight feel is so unusual and how much different it is than kind of any other foundation that I felt. You just pick it up and then it doesn't even feel like anything's there. You apply it to your face and you can't even tell that it's sitting on your face. It's so weird. My first impressions of this, just putting this on, I actually think it's really beautiful. And I think that this is probably gonna be a foundation that I really like. It depends on how it wears, of course, but the initial application, I'm digging it. I'm digging it hard. So I'm gonna go about putting on the rest of my makeup and then like I said, we'll come back in about five or six hours and we'll do a final wrap up of the night wear test and I'll tell you guys like how it sat. It just looks so pretty. I hope you guys can see like how beautiful and like skin like this looks. Really digging this, honestly. Okay, welcome back. It's been about six hours. <sighs> Let me see what I think about this. Uh, yeah, my makeup's a little bright. I was playing with the Chucky X Glam Light collection. So I did kind of a bright, like grungy eye look after I filmed the first part of the video testing the foundation. So, you know, ignore the rest of it. <laughs> but I'm kind of looking at this foundation and I have to say that the things that I was noticing when I first applied it was that it was heavy across my nose. And as it continues to sit, that's exactly where it looks heavy. It's looking dry and kind of heavy on my nose. Everywhere else on my face, it still looks really good. I'd say the longevity is probably pretty nice with this foundation. I don't think it overly sinks into my fine lines, no more so than like some of my other foundations. It is still like not fully set down. Like I can tell it has a bit of a tack to it. I almost feel like that's what I had referenced before, which is like that it's just kind of like this oily texture. I don't know how else to describe it, but yeah, I mean, as I continued to kind of apply it and like build it up and I probably did mm, probably a full pump on both sides of the face, it, it just seemed like it was really heavy across my nose. I do think that I like the consistency, like the texture when I said that I couldn't even feel it when I picked it up on my finger and then like when I swiped it on my face, I couldn't tell it was there. So the weightless part of it, like I get it. I believe that. I think it looked much more flawless and skin-like when I first applied it than as it's kind of sitting now. I like it everywhere but my nose. I would just say that I'll probably next time go in with a lighter layer across my nose than I did this time. I am gonna say though that this is probably a foundation that's going to suit more dry skin than oily skin because even now I can see the oils on my nose coming up. I could tell that they were when I came up here. I didn't touch anything, so I like it overall. I'm sitting here staring at it going, how do I feel about it? <laughs> Cause that's kind of what we do with our foundations is just check back, check back, look in the mirror, look in the mirror. And so this is really just a first impressions. After I left the mirror, I didn't look at my face again. So I don't think it's held up the best of some of my foundations. Do I think that it's a pretty foundation? Yeah. I would say go in with a lighter layer, probably made more for dry skin. I believe the weightless claim to it. This does claim to be blurring and long wearing. I would say it's relatively long wearing. And I would also say that the longer it sits on your face, it tends to get a little bit heavier. So those are my bullet points of this foundation. I can personally say I'm gonna be reaching for it again. Not every foundation lately I've been testing has been a home run, 
but I do enjoy this one. I think this is more of a satin or matte finish than her other foundation. I can't remember what it is, but I'll, I'll try and throw it up on the screen. And I think I kind of liked that one a little bit more. I had trouble with shade matching in that line than in this one, because I think this cashew shade was actually a pretty good shade overall. I would just say I think that this sits heavier on the face than that one does, even though it feels very lightweight. It's a, honestly a super, super interesting texture and consistency, and the fact that you just can't feel it. I like this packaging a little bit more. I don't know if I'm a stan of it yet. I don't know if it's gonna become my absolute favorite foundation, but I am gonna reach for it again, and I'm gonna enjoy reaching for it again, and I'm just gonna do some of the changes to my application steps that I had mentioned. Nothing about it is saying like, this is gonna be my favorite, favorite foundation, but I think it will be a good one for 2023. I think if you have dry skin, you're going to like using this foundation. I think if you like a satin finish, you're gonna like using this foundation. I don't think putting this out was a waste of time. I honestly think the weightless aspect of this makes this foundation just a little bit unique in some of the the new releases so i hope you guys found this review helpful i'm out of here it's late i always do these like you know six hour wear tests and i take myself way into the night so eyelashes are coming off as soon as this camera goes off makeup is coming completely off i am crawling into my pjs and i'm going to bed i hope you guys are having a tremendous day or night wherever you are if you are new to my channel i hope you consider subscribing i'm out of here and i'll catch you in my next one bye guys